The new forms experience in Microsoft Lists is becoming a better and better product enough to challenge Microsoft Forms. There are now new fields available that you can add in a form. Moreover, you can use branching. This means that according to the answers of the users, you can display specific questions. Moreover, there are additional configuration that you can set in the settings of a form. Ok, let's explore every new feature available in the new forms experience in Microsoft Lists. Let's go! Here I have in the browser three tabs open on purpose because I would like to show you that this new capability targeting lists is consistent in Microsoft Lists, SharePoint and Microsoft Teams. In fact, in Microsoft Lists, clicking on the Create New button, a pop-up shows up and here I have the new experience. So what I can create right now is a new list, a new form, and this will create automatically a new list, and the same thing for Gallery, Calendar and Board. Moreover, here I have this section Import from Excel, CSV and Existing List. And down below we have exactly the same section that we are used to work with it. Now, let me jump on the second tab and I have here the home site of SharePoint open. Now, when I click on a new list button, the pop-up here opens the panel and you are going to experience the same thing that we have seen before. So I have here a bunch of possibilities starting from scratch, selecting a normal list, a new form, a gallery, a calendar or a board view. That's it. And moreover, this is, it's the same. So you have the same experience. If you want to create a new tab for a channel in a new, in a team, for example, let me select now this one. I'm going to, to use Microsoft Lists and now here I need to add, of course, the, the information related this to new tab. It's going to be created right now and now let's await that appear here the button. All right, now here I can click on the button create new and as you can see I have the possibility to create a list, a form, a gallery, calendar, board. So this is consistent in every of the three services available. You are going to enjoy the same experience. So let's start now by creating a, a new list or form. Let's see. Now let's start the creation of a new form. OK, just let me be original by calling new form this this thing. What I can target here is, of course, uh, my lists or I can target an existing site, which is Project Ronix or the home site. So let me stay in my lists and let's click on the button create. Now what you are going to see is basically a normal list. The new form experience, it opens immediately and here now I can start to create my my new form. I added already a title, a description, and for the first field title, I added this description. Now, one of the new feature is the possibility to add a logo for your form. In this way, you have the ability to stay more, let's say, on brand with this uh, form and lists experience. Now, I added this this logo. And this could identify much better in terms of branding and styles my my form all right now what i can do here is add a new field for example and let's see what are the new fields available we have image location lookup and attachments so these are the new fields available let's see this one for example location so let me add just a question here for the location we have where is based your office let's move with another field so you have now the ability to set a lookup field if you want let's go with that 
and then of course you have to target what is the the source the source list let's take just just one social networking yep and and here let's add something my lookup field is ready i added here social color and i'm targeting the social networking list with the color tag as a column let's move with the next one which is the image this is the classic image column that allows you to visualize much better things in inside a list and in the form in this case now i added the image column and the last one that I'm going to add is just the attachments column, which makes more complete the way how you can fill out a form. All right, this is uh, pretty good to go. Let me now check with the preview functionality. And what you have here now is as a new field is the location. So I can add Rome, for example. And then here I can pick up some uh, new um, existing item that i have in my in my other list defined attachments and then finally image so i can tr create and upload new images attached to this to this new form let me click on submit so we are going to have a new item in the in our microsoft list all right something new is also available in settings you have now this new toggle button, notify me, in order to receive an email notification for every new response to this form. So I can turn on this and then I can decide if this form can accept responses. Moreover, I can set a start date when this form will be valid and when will be accessible. And moreover, I can set even a end date so for example this form will be available until tomorrow the time zone is here and then i can add here a description when the form is submitted and a message when form is closed this is very very important and nice to have as a additional settings and here of course you have always the classic experience by hiding or displaying fields and then theming this is unchanged i would say but the settings are is now richer something that i would like to highlight here under settings is that there there is something that is coming you will be able to say if a user can provide more responses or just one this is also a really nice thing to to have it's time to talk about conditional branching. This is a really, really appreciated as new addition. You have now the ability to create branches of your form according to the responses of the user. So let's say that in the first question, the user is going to answer in a specific way. So you can control this with, uh, with several options in your field if you want a lookup field, for example. But according to that, the user wants us fill it out the first question, can move and display to the second one. And according to the selection of, of the third one, you can say, okay, now I want to display immediately the image, the image field, instead of displaying the, the attachments, for example. Or by filling this social color according to the to the answer of the user i want to display attachments so this is the way how you can start creating branches of your form of course here it would be good to have and nice to have a new a new field so this could be a choice choice field for example it would be really nice to have so we can uh, we can do it right now so let me click again on edit and now here there is a a never this is the demo effect so let's go on the new field and let targets let's target this one choice one two and three select an option 
let's say that this is a required okay it's now good to go it's uh, it's time to now to drop this under social color so we can say much better how this thing work okay now let's reopen again this one and now this it makes totally sense as you can see because according to the answer of the user I can create a new branch for example I can say that in case of the user reply with this selection choice one I want to jump immediately to image so the user can upload immediately the file which is related with this option again here I can target for example attachments and the same for the third one so this is the way how you can now easily create branches in forms when you work in uh, Microsoft lists or when you have a list open in uh, directly in SharePoint or Teams it doesn't matter there is the co-authoring experience this means that when another user open uh, the same list and uh, it's, it's working with you in real time on the items of this list you are going to see the profile picture here next to manage access now you have the ability with PowerShell to disable this function assuming that you don't want to have this co-authoring experience in real time displaying users who is working actually on this uh, list you are you have this option now you can check the link in the description if you want to get more info about it when you share links related to the Microsoft lists or a form you are going to see a better context about your link so let me copy this link about this form right now and I want to do something really common I wanna share this link in a chat I have this this group chat here open in Microsoft Teams and I want to copy this what you can see now it's a better unfurling link it's called so you are going to see a better information related to the link that you are going to share let me send this and now users can immediately realize what a link is referring to I am back here and I want to create now a new form or a new view let's say let's click on the create new button and now I want to create a new board so let me go here and as always let me be original board let's hit the button create and now what I'm going to have here is a new list created under my lists name it board with the board view already created and available here I have the title column which is always in when you create a new list and then I can start to create new bucket let's say of this list you can do the same by creating a gallery or a calendar view it doesn't really matter so the way how you create this thing but as you can see automatically you are going to have the view that you want to have with the list already created did you like these new features available in forms in Microsoft lists is this the end of Microsoft Forms? Let me know in the comment what do you think about it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe and like. I hope to see you next time. Bye.